right, fans. Well, a great night here at the museum. A conversation with Phillies manager Rob Thompson. And I figured, why not? Let's do a check-in in in the offseason with Mike Beamer, the general manager of the Kitchener Panthers. And, Mike, I guess just to start things off, uh, you know, how's the offseason going? Well, the offseason's going great, Mark. We've had a couple uh, practice workouts at Blue Chip Academy that we use. And we'll be starting those up um, on a weekly basis next month. Um, We've got a good nucleus. All our core players are returning. And we're working on some uh, good new additions to the team. What what is the uh, day-to-day for yourself uh, during during an offseason like this? You know, whether it's... You know, maybe looking at some video of a guy of a guy playing somewhere, or even you just came back uh, recently from uh, from a, a place a little bit more sunnier than uh, Kitchener, Ontario. Yeah, Savannah, Cuba. So I'm not as busy as um, Rob Thompson, but on a daily basis, I probably spend about maybe five hours on baseball. So some of it's half of it, I'd say, is Panthers administrative stuff. We're going to be kicking off. An exciting new merchandise program soon, and there'll be big social media announcements on that. But on a daily basis, I get a lot of inquiries from prospective players from Japan, from Venezuela, uh, Colombia, Dominican, United States, like all over the place. So each one of those, I review the information, watch video on the players, and contact them back. Okay, and I imagine it's obviously very tough decisions and very uh, maybe even <coughs> tough conversations too. Because when you look at it, of course, you know there's only four import slots, yes. but there's you know pl- there's so much talent everywhere now. So yeah, the, so the import when I, when I get inquiries from imports, we pretty much have that determined uh, moving mm-hmm. forward. So since 2016, we've been bringing uh, Cuban ball players up, uh, mostly guys from the Cuban national team. And, as you know, Mark, we've had wonderful success on that. Mm-hmm. And so we'll be doing the same uh, in 2024. And uh, so when I get an inquiry from a, a player in Japan, I respond back and say, you know, good luck in your career. We don't have we don't have an opportunity for you. So when I was down, I spent three weeks in Cuba in um, November in a number of meetings, went to a number of ball games, started the process. There's a lot of red tape at the Cuban end and at the Canadian end because they require visas and this and that. But uh, we're pretty close, and I'm going back down there next month to finalize it. Of course, losing to Barry in the uh, the second round of the postseason uh, this past summer, um, do you take time off immediately after that, or is it you know right back to, okay, 2024? No, I take a couple weeks off just to decompress and relax. But um, within, within a week of, of that semifinal loss, Bill Matich and I met, and we went through the entire roster and that whole series. And I think while it's fresh in your mind, it's a good time to do it. Mm-hmm. And um, and that, that was a tough loss. You know, we were 4-2 and two against them in the regular season, but we ran out of gas. Mm-hmm. And I think the problem in that series, <clears throat> and all credit to Barry, good ball club, we gave Welland all they could handle in the finals. Uh, but the, the, the opening series against London, we had the two suspended games due to rain. Mm-hmm. We ended up playing six games in seven days. And by the time we met Barry, we were, we were worn down a little bit. Mm-hmm. And Barry, to their credit, uh, they were rested and waiting for us and had their pitching staff, their rotation lined up with Garces. And, like, I get it. Uh, but we were a little bit worn down by the time that series started. When you look ahead to 2024, I guess maybe we'll start with the uh, the actual Kitchener Panthers point of view. Um, you know what what's the most what's the biggest thing that you're looking forward to here in 2024? And I guess where uh, you mentioned already that uh, you know the core nucleus is already mm-hmm. going to be coming back. I guess what more can you tell us about you know what we could see as uh, as part of the on field product for 2024 well, at this stage? We're hoping to add a couple new pitchers. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's I can't discuss any names yet because mm. nothing's finalized. But we're talking to a couple of very, very good Canadian pitchers we're excited about. One of the things that we definitely need to do is have a good backup catcher. Um, last year, we didn't. And, um, you know, it's a risk to go with one catcher, mm-hmm. as good as Ibarra is. And Marcel Lacasse likely will not be back. 
-hmm. And when Lacoste came to the Panthers from Derry, he could catch. Mm -hmm. And he was our backup catcher for two weeks when Junior was in the Pan Am games. But uh, so one of the things that we were definitely looking for is a good second catcher. Um, I guess uh, from a league perspective, what's uh, what's what's 2024? What, what excites you about 2024? Well, I think the having a new team in the league is exciting. Chatham, mm -hmm. and I saw you reached out to their broadcast team the other Absolutely. day. Absolutely, hey, we always we always like to team up. Or it's always about that uh, that no, yeah. giving of information. Yeah, working together. Absolutely, so Com I, uh, camaraderie. If so you I, I'm excited about that. I think there'll be a strong franchise. We're selling a lot of season tickets. The owner of the team, Dom Danil, he's got a background in the Can-Am League in Quebec. He's got a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's going to be a success. You know, I'm excited about that. Um, Welland will be tough, as always. Mm -hmm. uh, Toronto with the new ownership. Like I expect there are going to be some changes happening there. So it's, it's, um, it's going to be an interesting league. Hamilton's turned the corner. Mm -hmm. They had a strong team last year. So I think it's uh, the league is getting more competitive every season. Of course, Bill comes back for another season uh, as Absolutely. a field manager too. The one thing I'll say, uh, Bill Matich, he's really super organized. He's a detailed mm -hmm. guy, kind of like what Rob Thompson was talking about. Some of his drinks, Bills are the same. Mm -hmm. So he spends a lot of time, um, not just on analytics, but just super well organized. You guys want me to take a picture? <laughs> as Bill. Peg, the president of the team, wants to take a picture. It's, it's running on video, Bill. <laughs> I, I, I guess just to kind of wrap up, uh, Mike, uh, obviously a great night here with uh, Rob Thompson, Jamie Campbell of Sportsnet uh, as well. Um, I guess, w was there something <laughs> from tonight uh, that's going to be a, a big takeaway for yourself? I guess, what's some, what was maybe something that was said uh, here tonight that you know, is really, it really stuck out to you? Well, I think the... the Two things probably. So when Rob Thompson talked about how much the IBL has helped him in his career, when he was a young player playing with Stratford and, and learning the game and learning how to be a man. But I think the, the other thing, when he talked about the five pillars and how he handles the Phillies, mm -hmm. and those are not just five pillars for baseball. They're life lessons. Mm -hmm. um, respect, work hard, um, honest, like all those things, they're, they're good pillars to live by. So I was very impressed uh, with with May. Absolutely. Well, I, I was as well, and I'm really looking forward to May. As of this taping, the schedule's not out for the uh, for the IBL yet, but I'm definitely keeping an eye out for uh, when day one will be in 2024. Mike, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thank here. you, Mark, and appreciate the great work you do for us. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Looking forward to another great season of Kitchener Panthers baseball on YouTube, and uh, we'll see you next time.